And now, it's time for... The Rocky Mountain Horror Show. <laughs> <laughs> is this real life or is this just fantasy, Photoshop, <laughs> AI, that some spirit Halloweens in some markets are doing a little market test uh -huh. to see if the market will support spirit Halloween turning into spirit Christmas. It kind of makes sense, though. Just like we were talking, I think, last week mm -hmm. about how, say, the Haunted River in Manan becomes mm -hmm. the Christmas River. Right. Instead of getting four to six weeks of action, mm -hmm. why not get two, three months? Yeah. It makes total sense to me. We should just call it Q4 Entertainment stuff. <laughs> right, Shop. right. You could call it Spirit Holidays. There you go. Yeah. I actually like Spirit of Christmas. Make the of really small. There we go. Yeah. But I'm not their marketing department. <laughs> I get the consistency with Spirit Christmas. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a great idea, personally. Will we see that in little mm -hmm. old Idaho Falls, Idaho? Time Christmas will tell. <laughs> we were joking about how Spirit Halloween packs up on November mm -hmm. 1st. I guess if they don't... Right. We'll know. You know, I have to assume that if there was a shop that was just like a holiday shop, but it just changed holidays every season for it, mm -hmm. it would do just fine. You, you know what you're describing? A brick and mortar retail version of the movie Holiday Inn. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Which I mean, for whatever <laughs> odd reason we watched back in August or whatever that was. We did. That's true. It was. I think it was July, as a matter of fact. Because yeah. I was like, Mike, I swear, if, the, if you're tricking me into having Christmas in July, I'm going to be pissed. No, it wasn't. It's mm. not a Christmas movie. No. Yeah, we're mm. just fine. But we do need to watch the reimagining. Yeah, White Christmas. Slash <laughs> sequel, not a sequel, White Christmas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the troll two of it all. <laughs> but we got to get to scary movies. One more thing, and then we'll get to scary movies. Okay. Do you like scary movies, Sydney? I do. Um, Who's Sydney? <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, there are a couple of tours when it comes to haunted tours in mm -hmm. Idaho Falls. Mm -hmm. There's the Museum of Idaho's Haunted History Tour. Which I have wanted tickets for for years now. So... I looked on their website and they have sort of a blog on the Museum of Idaho website saying, mm -hmm. okay, haunted history tour tickets go on sale to Museum of Idaho members mm -hmm. um, before October 1st. Right. And then the general public on October 1st. Mm -hmm. And they were sold out on October 1st. Right. So, so. It, that either means all the members got the tickets mm -hmm. and only the members got the tickets or they had a few left over. And they, and they were got swooped up. up. Yeah. So yeah, for next year, consider that. Right. Anyway, I realize as we've been sort of talking about this Rocky Mountain Horror Show segment, uh -huh. there is another ghost tour that happens. In fact, that's what it's called, the Ghost Walk. Yes. Ghostwalkidahofalls.com, Lincoln Post. Mm -hmm. You know they go from June through October? I did know that. As a matter of fact, I've actually been doing a little bit of research on the Ghost Walk, Mostly because of the founder of it, Scott Bryan, who is a really big ghostologist in this area, whose books I've currently been reading through, by the way. Uh -huh. I haven't gotten very far, so don't ask me any questions yet. But I've actually kind of been wanting to get in contact with him because there's this there's this bit that I want to do for the Rocky Mountain Horror Show that I can't find any info on. Oh, and I would think that, that he'd be the good. guy. Yeah. 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 I found I found okay, that's not hey, totally Scott true. Bryan, hit us up. Info yes, at <laughs> IFAF Pod. I don't know how else I'm gonna find any information on this but literally i have found two people who know about it after i've asked like 20 people mm -hmm. you know and like one of them is the person who first told me about it and then the other is some rando on the internet that i found <laughs> once okay and no one had any information for him either he was basically asking the same question i am one of the rumors and myths yeah okay so that anyway, sounds great i know i'm really excited about this one so i really wish that someone could point me in the right direction <laughs> if we can't get it this year there's always next year I guess so. But just I don't want to like, make people wait that long. Just like Idaho Falls High School football. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, Ghost Walk is a walking tour of downtown Idaho Falls. We talked yesterday or last episode about how Treasures mm -hmm. was a little haunted. Uh -huh. It's filled with Which, ghost stories. By the way, stories. so is my friend's, LC, my friend's shop, Elsie's Closet. That's right. Also haunted. You've got a couple of good stories about that. I do. I do. And maybe we'll tell them on the show. I would love that. As we get closer to Halloween. Yeah. Are you ready for our spooky snack segment? I sure am. I picked these up just for you with you in mind. If you don't know, Carly's <laughs> really into 
white chocolate uh-huh. with fruit flavors. I, I am. It's true, honestly. Typically, that's why you love the Thor's chocolate <gasps> huckleberry, huckleberry cream one. so much. That yeah. one's so good. <laughs> She's been craving it. Oh, it's been terrible. I got to hit up Love at First Bite tomorrow because otherwise I'm going to lose it. <laughs> so anytime I see um, white chocolate, I think uh-huh. of you. In this case, it's the Kit Kat Ghost Toast flavor. It's so cute. Which also, what a great idea. Crisp wafer in cinnamon toast flavored cream. Ugh, that just sounds so good. Let's I love cinnamon dig toast. In. And yeah, I like any kind of like white chocolate with something on it. Mm-hmm. You know, so whether it's like a cinnamon toast type thing or if it's like white chocolate strawberry or something like that. But I just I love white chocolate. It's so good. And I suppose that's why they call it ghost. Yeah, right. Because it's, it's white. <laughs> white chocolate. But it's yeah. really orange. Look at these um Kit Kat fingers. Oh, here. they're so fun and festive. Mm-hmm. I like that. Also, I love Kit Kat's weird flavors. Which reminds yeah. me, I really need to go out and get one of their uh, pink lemonade ones before they're gone. Thanks to Kevin, we tried a mm-hmm. bunch of oh. Japanese flavor. They were the best. Flavors in an earlier episode. And World Market, if you make a stop in Salt Lake mm-hmm. City, say for your holiday shopping, they've got a bunch mm-hmm. too. Uh, this smells amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 I got a white chocolate crumb on me. This is delightful. This I- tastes like... You just had a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch, and now you're drinking the milk. It's exactly what it tastes like. Good mm-hmm. call. Mm-hmm. Mm. I did the rabbit mm. feed into my mouth, <laughs> and it was just so good. I saw that. Uh, those are delightful. Wow. My goodness. At the risk of um, creating boring content, I'm going to mm-hmm. do it again. I don't blame you. Well, and I love the shade of orange, too. Because <laughs> it's not too orange, but it still feels Halloween-y and festive. Mm. It's orange creamy. Yeah. Gosh, golly goodness. That and sure what a, is good. What a perfect flavor mm-hmm. for Kit Kat. I wonder if they have these in like, if you can buy these in bulk, because I would give these out for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't these be badass mm-hmm. to give away to kids? Oh, kids go nuts. It'd be absolutely feral. I can't remember which convenience store I picked these up at, mm-hmm. but these were the last two. Mm. And it was like a couple weeks ago. We got to find them again. I've been hanging on to them. Mm-hmm. This week, we went to the Wild Adventure Corn Maze. Mm -hmm. And we were just there for Sunflower Days. We sure were. And that was awfully fun, too. It was. Yeah. So they do it. Of course, this is their big event, Mm -hmm. is the Corn Maze. Yeah. Here's the terrible part. We didn't actually do the maze. No. We were stupid, and we got there a little late when it was already dark, and we were tired. And We We, we rode the little train. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, the little train was nice. Here's the thing. I love how like fun and kitschy their random little stuff is. Mm-hmm. You know, like the little um, barrel train that they do. Super cute. Super fun. I actually really enjoyed it. You know, it's just a nice, mild ride through the corn. Uh-huh. You know, and I really liked uh, their zip lines too. Oh, here's yes. Daredevil Carly. She's doing the zip line. By the way, I wore a dress uh. <laughs> and you have to wear a harness around your legs. <laughs> so we had to do a lot of tucking. <laughs> you, you made it work. I made it work. And here she is climbing the uh, rock climbing wall tower. Honestly, I love rock walls. So when I was a kid, we used to go to Blast Off, and I would basically be on that thing the entire time. <laughs> it was my favorite thing. You rang the bell at the top and everything. I sure did. I sure yeah. did. And I feel like I made it up pretty quick in heels, by the way. Yeah. Just saying, and a dress. It was impressive, so. but like you pointed out, it was a really fun carnival atmosphere. Right. Look at these food trucks that mm-hmm. they had. Yeah, which every other time I've been there, they've only ever had the one little shack, Mm -hmm. you know, the little barn that has the snacks. But now they had like some buddies, which I thought was cool. Uh, We got some of those sugared moose donuts, which were just so delicious. So delicious. And you did. So at Haunted River, they had huckleberry donuts Uh with and you had a maple dip. So I did a so, little maple drizzle. Yeah. Uh-huh. And here you could choose what flavor. Mm-hmm. And you said, can I have two? <laughs> she said, sure. Yeah. Huckleberry and maple. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is a great combination. It's a great combo. And it feels like fall. Mm-hmm. You know, because I feel like the maple just helps it feel a little bit more autumnal. Yes. Yeah, it was nice. It's it a was great really combo. Thank you. I'm very <laughs> pleased with myself. Uh, but yeah, those things are delicious. And I love their little donut machine. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah, you get to watch it. Yeah. It's right by the window, so you can see the donuts come out of the oil, get flipped twice, uh-huh. and then boom into the basket. Yeah, it was delightful. Fun little experience. Very fun. The crazy corn, the Always. crazy corn with bacon. I will say, pretty darn good crazy corn. Mm-hmm. 
sometimes some people don't know how to do crazy corn. These guys did pretty good. Yeah. We should have hit up some more of the the food stands, but we stupidly ate dinner before we went there because we thought there'd only be the one shack. So I guess that's part of our advice. Sometimes we're not smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you go to the Wild Adventure yeah. Corn Maze, go hungry. Yeah. Plan to eat when you get there. Uh-huh. Especially because I've heard that their hamburger in their little snack shack is like primo. Mm-hmm. So give that a go, I guess. Jolyn Thomas, who we ran into from yes. KID News uh-huh. Radio, uh, tipped us, clued us into that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So, you know. Just saying, go there hungry. And yes, she's listened to this show. <laughs> oh, I love that. She didn't say she liked it, but she, no, she did actually. <laughs> I love JoLynn. She's so great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's one of my favorites. And she always dresses so nice. She is a snappy, snappy dresser. She really is. Yeah. Yeah. Even when going through a corn maze. Yeah, right? I love that about her. I think that the ideal way to enjoy this maze is you go there hungry, you stop at the snack shacks first, and then you eat your snack as you try to figure out the maze. There you go. Yeah. Go get some uh, food and even some greasy food, Mm -hmm. and then walk it off. Yeah. I love it. (laughs) 